This is getting interesting. Joe Rogan is joining World Carnivore Month, or should we say World Carnivore Month, hee <laughs> hee. And if you haven't heard, just like last year, World Carnivore Month is simply 30 days of following the carnivore diet. As much as drawing attention to the carnivore diet is great, Nutrition is a very complex subject, and I want people to be as healthy as possible, as affordably as possible, which is not going to happen with the simple message of just eat meat for 30 days. You have people recommending McDonald's. I can't make this shit up. There are dangers of following this diet, ranging from iron overload, zinc to copper ratio, vitamin A toxicity, and we can't forget estrogen in feedlot meat, lowering testosterone. And the reason these other carnivores aren't talking about this is because, I mean, frankly, they're not as experienced as me. I've been following the diet for seven years. I've put thousands and thousands of hours into researching videos, but what are you going to do? Guys, come on. Think about this for a second. Anything that gets mainstream media attention, Fox News, Joe Rogan, it's controlled opposition. And if you're not familiar with controlled opposition, get familiar with it. There is little proof for actual environmental issues. All weather on this planet is regulated by solar cycles and frequencies from other solar activity, eh, but they don't want you to know that. The documentary, Sacred Cow, has already stolen $88,000, 88 big ones from the people who think they are promoting a good cause. Stop giving these astroturfing shills your money. And as much as I would like to support local farmers, they don't necessarily have good intentions either. I've been ripped off by one too many Amish pricks. They tend to overcharge for food. With $88,000, I could have started my own farm, providing people with high quality animal foods. These people are going to make a nonsense documentary to fit their agenda of selling you beef under whatever shady marketing is allowed in the United States. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, let's see if Joe Rogan's doing any better. The second thing is that for the whole month of January, I'm going on a strict carnivore diet. January is hashtag World Carnivore Month and I figured Let's see what happens. So as an experiment for the entire month of January, I'm not eating anything but meat and eggs. I'm getting my blood work done on Monday and then again when I'm done with the diet. But I've been on it now for about five days and I'm already looking leaner. My energy level has been excellent too. Kind of shockingly good. I'm making sure this isn't a temporary placebo effect, but at least for now, I'm definitely experiencing some benefits. Many of you know, I mostly eat wild game meat, which is very lean. So I'm supplementing that with beef tallow and some other fattier cuts of meat, like this bison ribeye I just took out of the Traeger grill. I like this. Joe is sponsored by Traeger Grills, and he isn't promoting any harmful or negative behavior like these other carnivores. Selling people grilling equipment is inarguably better than estrogenic feedlot meat, but let's keep an eye on this and see how it goes. Coinciding with World Carnivore Month, someone started Organuary, and people like Chris Kresser are promoting the consumption of more organ meats, and at face value, you might consider this a good thing but the messages spread are still fitting their agenda. They aren't emphasizing the importance of quality of the food you're eating. It's why they don't acknowledge certain vitamins that aren't contained in low quality meat, specifically vitamin K2, vitamin D3, omega fatty acids. They're telling you to eat liver, but not making you aware of the importance of vitamin synergy, making you susceptible to the dangers of high dose vitamin A, and a bunch of other things that can manifest themselves. But the biggest issue by far is the carnivore movement as a whole is still ignoring raw dairy, wild caught fish, pasture raised eggs, not to mention the importance of quality plant foods in a diet that doesn't have fermented animal products present. You need to feed the microbiome or consume the bacteria itself, neither of which a carnivore diet does. I've always talked about my like triple threat thing or you know triple importance of cooked, raw, and fermented food in the diet, and as soon as they have a product to sell you, I'm sure they'll come up with something similar. Of course this means they don't have your best interest at heart. They don't mention certain animal foods that are very important, arguably necessary to be optimally healthy. They ignore blatant dangers of feedlot meats, and they are just as bad as the vegans, using virtual signaling to get people to promote grazing ruminants for the environment. 
I spent two years speaking out against the carnivores, asking why they don't promote quality animal foods, why they don't speak about dairy, why they don't promote wild caught fish, pasture raised eggs, local farms. All they say is, yes, you can do those things, but people are doing just fine on a grain fed, corn stuffed, Angus prime feedlot diet. Woo wee! Really? must be real great when your PP doesn't work. Then you can go to your doctor and get some HRT and maybe deadlift 800 pounds. Then when your hair falls out, he'll give you medication for that. When that medication makes you depressed, you'll get another medication. Congratulations, you made corporations a ton of money and now you're unhealthy and unhappy. I can't really say I'm at square one, but I certainly feel like a broken record. I understand. People love to make money, and these monopolies occur in every marketplace there is, including government. Unfortunately, I'm in the middle of this, and the only person that is calling out this very obvious special interest funding. Yes, I might make less money than these people, but at the end of the day, I will leave a positive impact on the planet. And uh, to be honest, I'm aggravated. I've worked so hard over these years to spread an important message and these corporate shills are constantly compromising it. They're taking my message and twisting it to make money for themselves. I don't want to have to talk about this negative stuff every other week, but the second I stop talking about it, I get people in my chat saying, oh, what do you think about corn maker? What do you think about this person, that person? As the carnivore diet gets more and more popular, I'm going to have to constantly aware people so that they can make informed decisions on their health. Guys, let me know in the comments if you would be interested in funding a farm. I was planning on saving up the money myself, but that's been taking longer than I thought. And if people are going to give money to the shills for some nonsense documentary, I'm comfortable taking that money and putting it towards a good cause. And, and for those of you guys that are like, oh, Frank's a jerk off, he attacks everyone, he's some tough guy from New York. I see how unhappy, you know, my family members are every day, my sister, everyone around me. And it breaks my heart every single day. And, and that is the driving factor behind everything I do. There's a lot of carnivore shills out there that are trying to paint me as a bad person, yet I'm the only one giving out information for free, making thousands and thousands of hours of educational videos, and really promoting what truly makes people healthy. Not only that, I'm the only one that looks the part. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i the only one that even has hair, to be honest, so I, I don't really have that much competition. And, and now with, with Joe joining the brigade, I mean, we need someone with hair, right? <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. If you can please like the video, subscribe. You guys can also check out my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet, down in the description below. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy your weekend.